Welcome back, everybody, to another AoE2 DE custom campaign. We've got ourselves the first Celt campaign that I've ever played, other than, you know, William Wallace. We've got Robert the Bruce. Uh, this was made by Shimakazi and Elam and somebody else, I think, whose name is in Chinese. So, got some uh, classic custom campaign designers, so let's get right into it with Keeping a Low Profile. I scrutinized the knight sitting in front of me. He was nibbling at the fruit that had just been seized from the Moorish barracks, drinking wine, and every movement showed he seemed to have inexhaustible power. He was tall and pale, his eyes glowed like green gems, and his hair was striking red. A strange silver and, and enameled casket hangs around his neck. Looks like he's a Celt. He seemed to notice that he was being watched and looked up at me. His expression revealed pride, and he w looked a little worried. Where are you from, sir? There are fewer and fewer local Celts. Are you from the Basque country or from far away Brittany for the Holy War? I felt a little embarrassed, so I wanted to open up the conversation. Farther than those places, I am a Scotsman stranger. He casually took a bite of a baked apple. It's so far away, it seems like our king is charging a really high price for foreign knights. Haha, <laughs> I quipped. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Nonsense. I came to <laughs> war without taking any money from your king. My godly king sent me here. King of Scotland? The king named David? It's his father, King Robert the Bruce, don't you know? He looked at me in the eyes and said, Sorry, I'm not very familiar with things in Scotland. He drank wine uh, from the wine glass in his hand, straightened his body and looked at me and said, My horse is wounded and I can't hunt down heretics with my brothers. There's nothing, for, nothing to do here anyway, so let me tell you Castilians about our king. Without waiting for my reply, he started telling the story on his own in somewhat blunt Spanish. After the unexpected death of King Alexander III of Scotland, all his immediate heirs died. At the time, the nobles most likely to be the new king were Robert the Bruce, Lord of Annandale, and John Balliol, Earl of Galloway. Neither of them wanted the other to be elected king, and the helpless Scottish nobles could only invite King Edward I, known as the Justinian of England, to intervene in the struggle for the throne. And Edward I, who had coveted Scotland for a long time, supported John Balliol as the new king of Scotland and demanded that the latter uh, and direct and the Scottish nobles recognized England's suzerainty status. Edward I gradually regarded Scotland as his vassal and asked uh, the Scots to provide him with troops in Wales. The Scottish nobles, unwilling to be cannon fodder for the king uh, English against France, began to reject Edward's demands. Edward led the British army to invade Scotland and captured John Balliol alive and stole the Stone of Scone, which symbolized Scottish kingship. He poured another glass of wine and continued. The Scots did not succumb to this. A warrior named William Wallace stood up. He was not of high birth and was said to be just a low-level knight. He led a group of oppressed Scottish peasants to kill the English magistrates in Lanker Lanarkshire, firing the first shot of the Scottish War of Independence. Although William Wallace's resistance movement was laudable, the upper-class Scottish aristocracy scoffed at the peasant-dominated uprising movement, and even many aristocrats were satisfied with the conditions given to them by Edward and chose to uh, support the English. Only 22-year-old Robert the Bruce from the Bruce family chose to support William Wallace's resistance despite the father's offer of allegiance to King Edward. He said, I must join my own people in the country I was born in. Oh boy, that was a lot of really bad Scottish accent you guys just had to endure. <laughs> you found uh, out the position of the English. They think uh, we are weakling and are now staying in camp off guard. The Scots will not give in easily. Uh, Wallace, who came from humble background, is fighting for the independence of Scotland, and we, as nobles, should remember our duty to our country and uh, are not our follow uh, the honest uh, Comins in Balliol. Uh, my son, where are you planning to go with that army? I'm trying to teach to reach a reconciliation with Edward I to feel like he is able to defend the interests of the, us Scottish nobles. Look at this guy. Uh, sneak. Uh, oh, hold on. Sneak attack one English camp, at least five soldiers. 
garrison at their castle, then destroy all the defenders. Uh, power cap of 150 and can only be upgraded to the castle age. The Bruce family's military strength is limited and it is impossible to obtain more than one English camp by means of sneak attacks. The nearby environment and the initial resources of each camp are different. Of course, you can incite a lot of the Scottish people to join the rebel army, but the English army will quickly throw in the force to destroy it. If the English are successful, not only will you lose your original support, but will even loot many resources under the pretext of suppressing the rebellion. The Comans and Balliols have lost, long lost confidence in re resisting the English, and they hate you even more, so they won't help you, and there's even a possibility of collusion with the British army. Edward Longshanks has a temporary truce with Wallace, but he is busy taking control of all of Scotland, so he may not immediately react to your uprising, but it will be a matter of time before he joins the fray. If you take out the English invaders first, he may also react early. William Wallace has the same anti-British stance as you, but his base camp is far away from your uprising and may not be able to help you directly. Once William Wallace is killed, his army will rout. Wallace may randomly appear in one of Sterling's... Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, you can also win by defeating Edward I, but attacking it before... Okay. We are the woods of Scotland. Uh, we still have to fight for independence. So the English invaders are here. Edward Longshanks, of course. Uh, the Cummins are in the west. And the Balliols in the east, or the Scottish villages, and William Wallace's camp. Okay, so there is a garrison here, a garrison here, and a garrison here. Now, I don't know what difference there is. Uh, uh, between going to all these camps. So I guess I'll just go to the nearest one. I guess I'll just go to the nearest one. But yeah, it's going to be fun to play Celts. Celts are offensive. It's going to crush a lot of stuff with Woad Raiders and Siege. Oh, do I have to, like, go around or something? Here are the Scottish villages. Um, so we're just neutral with Longshanks, the Comans, and Balliols. Oh, this one's actually the furthest away, as it so happens. I'm thinking I want to go here anyway. Just because it's not... Like, th these two are right next to each other, right? So, if I go over here, I'll have a bit more space with which to work. And that might be nice. Uh, warriors have left Scotland's villages in ruins, but warriors who fought for their independence will never be forgotten. Uh, whoops. Well, we at least have some houses, I suppose, as well as our little pavilion thing over here in the north. Are you the army of the Comans? What can we do for you? Are there bandits that need to suppress? Don't worry, just let us help you. We're all in the same country now. Yep. That sure sounds like the current situation. I learned this one from playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Remember, no Russian. <laughs> Attack! Wait, we only have 150 HP, dang. I thought you would have uh, more HP than that. Um, We are winning this one, right? Oh. Need to go back to the camp to rest. Uh, I kind of thought I would easily win this, right? Wait, no, don't attack the frickin' wall! Right. Right. 
Well, that could have gone better. Defeat the English army in this camp, but that's just the beginning. We have to defeat all the English in the area to free the Scots. Sorry, the Scots. Uh, Edward will find our resistance movement any moment. Oh, well, we have an hour. That's not at any moment. That's given us a nice bit of time. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and see what's uh, going down. Yeah, we have to destroy the remaining English castle. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad I gave myself a bit more space. Oh, I'm in the feudal age. That explains a lot. All right, so we... I'm, I'm so used to... All of our custom campaigns has starting us in the castle or imperial age and just giving us a ton of resources right away. It's like I'm playing an official campaign now, man. Just got around with these crossbowmen. This map is pretty big. Pretty big, pretty big. And of course we are playing in blue, as is appropriate for all Celt-related activities. People of Scotland are being impressed by the English, but I'm sure there are ambitious ones among them. But you're going to take control of the villages and persuade them to join us. Oh, I think he's stuck over there. Whoops. Oops, those are keeps. I wonder if they have stronghold researched. So we'll probably just, you know... You know, you prob will probably just, you know. I'm very eloquent. Let's just go ahead and work towards Castle Edge. Click up on, you know... 25 villagers or so. Do a little bit of scouting. We can go back over here, maybe. Maybe. I don't think we can build a town center. Don't think there's the level enough ground. Uh, there is Eduardo. Oh, I'm on 1.7. I thought things seemed kind of slow. It's weird because, like, I'm so used to playing multiplayer on 1.7, but I play all the custom campaigns on 2.0 because they tend to be very long. Anything over here? Can we dock? I guess we're not able to Oh wait, we can. Oops. Is there just not space over here? Uh, I don't know if these guys have a navy. Yeah, I don't know. Then we'll get to uh, wheelbarrow and click up. Oh, okay, wait. Build a tower at the flag of the various Scottish villages. 
Oh yeah, this is what they're saying. Like we, uh, we need to protect them. So we're only going to build those towers once we are able to defend them. That makes sense to moi. Up. Up. That. Well, they are going after my little pavilion area. Man. Wait, I can research Capram in the feudal age? It's like we're mega humans. Get some spearmen. Kid. Get that. Uh, I mean, we are going to be under a little bit of pressure. Oh, goodness. Um... All right, this is a bit awkward. Almost to Castle Age. Okay, get a mangonel, get pikemen. Definitely not a super pretty opening here. But hey, we got there in the end, and that's what counts. Stop it! Got him! Yeah, we don't have a ton of room with which to work. Do we have a market? No, we don't. Don't know what those bills are doing all... Hanging around and stuff. I also don't see any stone nearby, which could be a bit of an issue. This Keltico is pretty good. Boom going. Selgara. Now, the question is Oh, wait, I need a market. What? Build the thing. Oh, 
Yeah. Why can't I build a farm like here? Are there trees in the way? I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, not a ton, ton of space. Some more houses. Honestly, this might be a good place to farm. Huskarls. Oh, they are goths. That, that's a good reason to have huskarls. They have good upgrades. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I was hitting all the wrong buttons. What do the Bruces have to do with me here? Joining Edward is the only way out for the nobles or something. I mean, we're taking some minor losses, but it's not the end of the world. Oh my god, I keep on trying to place farms over here. Repair you. Come on, let's get to work, everybody. And there goes my market. This is a fortuitous start, not. Shank him! Good thing Celts are good with the whole infantry and siege thing. Yeah, having that safe farming area in the back is really nice. Um, start with you. So many random villagers running around, man. Get 
forging, and arson, and all that good stuff. They're hateful. Well, uh, let's start freeing these villages and see what happens. Get iron casting. Uh, yeah, we can get some barracks over here. They're the Baileyols. We're like the Bailey Lols. Oh, dang, these guys got fortified walls and everything. Yeah, I can build our workshops over here. At least Castle Age Wood Raiders are better now. Even if the incompetent King Balliol and the Cumans, Cumans never give up, he shall be the gallant Scots. It's time for a counter attack. Launch a counter attack! Scottish insurgents are literally spearmen. Wow. So impressive. I never got bow saw. Get you guys over this way. We need to teach them how to fight and give them good weapons. Seems reasonable. During the war, I'll recover my strength. Uh, what? I mean, they are just spearmen. It's a little concerning. Okay, the tower has 3,060 HP, which is nice. Oh, and we can get cap fam. All right. That is also nice to see. Okay, we got all our infantry upgrades. Get you. Honestly, I need to get some long swordsmen. I know it's not as fun as Wood Raiders, but I just I don't have the stone for castles. Take up arms, Scottish warriors. Hey, you wanna like not, my man? I mean, also tra train Wodes. Wodey McWode faces. At least send you that way. Freaking Kelt Lumberjacks going through our wood line so quickly. Oh no, the Spearman's under attack. Oh wait, give the Scottish insurgents gold and give them better weapons. Um, okay. 
We'll give them new weapons. Okay, so let's go ahead and get coinage. So they're not just uh, spearmen with feudal age upgrades. Take some gold over this way. Okay, 20 minutes until Eddie knows about our rebellion. Awesome. Okay, 300 gold. Get Pikeman. Yep. We have destroyed another English castle. Oh, we don't get the whole thing. Get iron casting. Oh, I never got frickin' handcart. Get chainmail armor. No, not me ally. Uh, oh, a little bit more. Oh. Get arson. And the last one. Get long swordsman. Awesome. Okay, 16 minutes. I guess we'll, yeah. We'll gather everyone up over here. Oh man, that's a lot of swordsmen. Populations overall looking fine. Are traders okay? I'm I'm not attacking them right now. They're all the way over here. Rating them a little bit over there. Some more gold right there. That's going to be important to take. Yeah, but we're doing all right, guys. Seems like a fun intro scenario. Ooh, 
then we'll unlock this whole area and we can get more peasantry. So I guess all of these villages had town centers. I don't know what the differences are between them. But yeah, I'm so glad I went for the one that's over there. Great, all the English troops in the area are wiped out. Good job! Uh, we must do our best to hold off the attack. Okay. Oh! Edward is leading those come to attack your camp. Let me help you, Bruce. Getting some brave heart flashbacks here. Although with significantly less Mel Gibson, which is probably for the best. The problem with Scotland is that it's filled with Scots. Oh wait, Longshanks is in the Imperial Age. Uh, Wallace has a pretty nice camp over here. It's actually a very nice camp. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. Well, I guess we have to resist. Okay, um. Maybe go for some scorpions. Ah, the Comans. They have like Imperial Age upgrades, man. Watching the brutal English army slaughter our family. He raises a fair point. For freedom. Siege. Well, we tried. Oh, these guys have a navy too. Okay, well the scorpion defense is honestly working out all right. I noticed they, oh no, never mind. They have the last armor upgrades in. But yeah, some faster firing Celt scorpions are not something to scoff at. You can get them masked up and they don't have a bunch of onagers. This is a fun first scenario. Okay, 
Okay, got six and a half minutes of this pain. I didn't lose all my scorps, did I? Yes, pikemen versus ships. That's how I like things. Wallace is doing Wallace things. Okay, well, we lost one of the camps, but that's not the end of the world. Oh boy, those are trebuchets. Now we can't get to the Imperial Age, so I assume we don't actually need to take down Wallace over here, because that, that would be kind of much. So hopefully we'll just win after this. Because this is getting to full, po yeah, they have full post imp upgrades. But at least, like, this is giving us the good feel of, uh, in it being an insurgency. Alright, a little under three minutes. We can do this. Great. I mean, we still have a, a pretty big economy, right? Got 10 barracks over here. And we just need to resist for another 30 seconds. Go get him, Wallace. Wonder what's going on with this whole southern area of the map, though. My son, we don't, won't have a chance against them. Surrender now, as I told you. I can forgive your betrayal, Robert the Bruce, but you must show your loyalty. First, you must give me hostages. Just send me to your precious daughter. Second, you will kill Wallace for me. D do you hear me? Damn it, I can't defeat them. Not to mention my father is also in the hands of Edward I. I have no choice. Wallace and the people of Scotland, I can only be sorry for you for the time being. God will understand me. Very well, accept your conditions. From now on, you're my king, and I will complete your task. Oh no, we gotta kill William Wallace. Damn it, Robert the Bruce. He surrendered to the English. I was, I was wrong about you. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Even if you win, what will change? You think our scouts will stop fighting? Absolutely not. Go on, you traitor. I'm in the camp waiting for you to kill me. Uh, plus one archer rank? I really do don't care. <laughs> oh, you guys are like super trapped. You have let us down too much to turn against Wallace. We will no longer follow you in battle. Sorry. Wait, Wallace is now an imp? Why don't I get imp? Poor 
Pogo! Well, I guess we're gonna have to hang and then draw and quarter Wallace. As you do. Right, that'll be good. Closer reinforcements and all that. Man, Captrams are slow. I really wish Captrams had a 0 0.05 speed increase. Because right now they have the same movement speed as battering rams. Where siege rams are 0.1 faster, so I think you can you can split the difference with capped ram. Just a little bit faster. Alright, where is Wallace? Where is Will I Am Wallace? Uh, I guess Long Shanks is helping me out. Come on, homie, where are you at? Base is so many freaking castles. Me drill, man. Here, sure. Over here, sure. <laughs> Whoa, my mini map's all messed up again. It's that weird bug. Oh wait, there he is. He's having a, a bit of a rough time, it seems. The funny thing is, Wallace could easily take all of these rams by himself. It's 400 HP, 7-7 seven, seven armor right now. My spearmen are dealing one damage to him. Sorry, Willy. Damn, you traitor. Well, let's pray at your last time. The mercy God will let you into heaven. Freedom. freedom! Freedom, 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 freedom. Very well, the rebellion was suppressed, Robert. You did a good job. Come with me to England. I will reward you. Although the rebels led by William Wallace and Robert the Bruce repeatedly battered the British army, the British army was still too strong. The Balliols and the Comans led the Scottish aristocracy to cooperate unscrupulously with the invaders and made our situation worse. Facing the attack of the British army and the Scottish traitors, Robert the Bruce was unable to continue to resist, so he could only keep a low profile and temporarily surrender to Edward the Butcher, even join the British army siege of Wallace. He said to have prayed daily to God for the forgiveness of his betrayal during this time. Uh, his voice was getting uh, lower and lower, as if telling unbearable memories. As he spoke, he drank another glass of wine. 
Soon the British army swept the whole of Scotland. Our last stronghold was Stirling, a small castle that resisted the British for three months. Edward had to use the new trebuchet to break it completely. There my master witnessed the last effort of his fellow man for independence. Inspired, he vowed to wait for the moment and work more to restore Scottish Scotland's independence. Wallace was soon found and executed as a result of the traitor's betrayal. Before his death, he refused to admit that he had committed treason because he did not have a day of allegiance to stay England. He was tortured to the brink of death and then executed, and his body was divided into several pieces, which were sent to display throughout England and Scotland. He lowered his head and spoke, and I heard vague sobbing. Although he failed, he was indeed a warrior, a true fighter. I filled him uh, and me with wine, and he looked up at me with red eyes and gratefulness. But what about the story after Robert the Bruce? How did he become king of Scotland? When he heard it, he leaned back on the chair, picked up a roasted pear, and took a bite. Not a positive KD, but considering that we were facing post imp Britons, uh, not too bad. Yeah, Scottish insurgents didn't do that much, but still a fun first scenario. I enjoyed it. Here was the Balealls. Here were the Comans. A little bit of water to the south. Here's Eddie. And Wallace is over here at Sterling. Good stuff. Alright guys, that was Keeping a Low Profile. Next up will be Lord of Scotland. See you then.